Our next section is 3.3. The topic is angles in polygons. So last lesson, angles and triangles, we learned that they add up to 180. So let me just draw, uh, we're gonna make a table here. We had three sides. I have a triangle. We're gonna count the number of triangles. The minimum number of triangles I can make from a triangle is one. Times 180 degrees gives me that all of the angles in a triangle add up to 180. That's gonna be my starting point. I have a four-sided figure. Doesn't matter how I draw the four-sided figure. The minimum number of triangles that I can get is two, one, two. Two times 180 degrees, because each triangle is 180 degrees, gives me 360 degrees. If I draw a five-sided figure, the minimum number of triangles I can draw by connecting opposite you know, vertices would be three. Take that number, multiply it times 180 degrees, and I get 540 degrees. I'm gonna do one more, and we should be able to see a pattern here. A six-sided figure. The minimum number of triangles I can draw in a six-sided figure is one, two, three, four. Multiply it times 180 degrees, and I get 720 degrees. So if I wanted to take any number of sides, the number of triangles I can get, well, let's see, if I had three sides was one triangle, four sides is two, five sides is three, six sides is four, if I have n sides, I'm gonna have n minus two number of triangles. I'm gonna multiply this times 180. So we have a formula for determining the sum of the angles in any polygon whatsoever. Now you're going to want to make sure to have that formula down. Or you can draw the shape, cut it up into triangles, and then multiply the number of triangles by 180. So you need to be able to count sides and go from there. So let's go to IXL. Um, I'm just going to go straight with IXL because I'm going to talk through. I'm going to be using a calculator to multiply by 180. I'm going to count sides, subtract 2, and then multiply by 180. So on this first one here, count sides. I'm going to start out with the top and go clockwise. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 times 180 is 720. Nope, i got to be inside the little clicky thing. Number of sides, one, two, three, four, 360. One, two, three, four, 360. One, two, three, four, five, six. From your notes, that was 720. Oops, I didn't read the question. It says, what is the measure of each angle? Well, 720 divided by six would be 120. I didn't read the question. So let's do the sum again. Start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minus two is six times 180 is 1080. Each angle with four sides. Well, that's going to be 360 divided by four is 90. Okay, what is B? So what we need to do is we need to add up all of the numbers. I'm gonna put my 
little IXL thing here. So I'm going to add up all the numbers. So I'm going to get B plus what I have is equal to, now let's figure out the number of sides this thing has. I'm going to start with the B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 minus 2 times 180. I'm going to verify it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So um, 7 times 180 is 1260. I'm going to use the calculator. 120 plus 160 plus 130 plus 160 plus 140 plus 120 plus 140 plus 160 is 1130. Subtract the 1130 from there. So 1260 minus 1130, and I get 130. Um, same thing here. I'm going to start with the N, and I'm going to count the number of sides. Oops, the paper was a little bit out of the way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10 equals 10 minus 2 times 180 n plus blank. Let's figure out what my blank is. I'm going to start out with the 120 and work my way around using the calculator. 120 plus 130 plus 145 plus 140 plus 160 plus 160 plus 135, plus 120, plus 160, get 1270. So 8 times 180 is 1440, minus the 1270, I get 170. What is the measure of each angle when it has 10 sides? Well, we know 10 sides is 10 minus 2 times 180, which was 1440. Divide it by 10, so each angle is going to be 144. triangle. They have to add up to 180. I have 60, so there's 120 to go. Triangle, 180. What is K? So let's count the number of sides. Starting with the K. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 minus 2, 180. Um, we've done that before. That's 1260. I'm going to add up my angles. K plus blank. So 150 plus 120 plus 150 plus 140 plus 130 plus 140 plus 145, plus 145 is 1120. 1260 minus 1120 is 140. And that's enough to get us up to the 70. And it took me 12 questions. Um, it probably would have taken me 10, but I got that one wrong because I didn't read the question.